What's good, all my people? This is Justin Martyr, aka Just Incredible, and just wanted to make this video explaining why I made the song White Man's Religion. Some people get it, they understand why, and for those that don't understand why such a song be necessary, said let me you know make a video explaining why I made this song. So one of the number one objections to the Christian faith is the claim that Christianity is a white man's religion. And this is a false claim that's easily destroyed. Um, listen to my song, White Man's Religion. It's very easy to destroy this claim, but it's a very popular claim uh, with minorities, with people in America who aren't white. So native Americans, First Nations peoples, indigenous peoples to this country, that's an objection they give to Christianity. Of course, in the black community, you know, I'm a black Jamaican American man. So it's very prevalent African American, Caribbean, and, you know, African circles, you know. So black circles in America, common objection Christianity is a white man's religion. I don't want nothing to do with that. You know, we were introduced to that religion through slavery, uh, which is a lie. Many people were introduced to Christianity through slavery. But as I said in my song, um, we see Christians, you know, in the book of Acts, you know, written thousands of years ago, written in, you know, the first century, uh, African Christians, you know, the Christianity reached Africa before it reached Europe. And, um, you know, in the Hispanic community, this is an objection in the East Indian community. Some of my friends and believers, my brothers and sisters in Christ have said in, in India, people say it's the white man's religion. So my Chinese and Korean brothers and sisters have said the same thing. So all over the world, man, people are making this false objection. But go ahead, once again, listen to my song, White Man's Religion. We see African Christians um, from, you know, the beginning of the Bible. You know, Moses' father-in-law, Jethro, you know, was an African and, you know, he married Zipporah, an African as well. And we see great church fathers, you know, such as Augustine, Athanasius, Cyril. These are African men where we actually learn hermeneutics, you know, from the Antiochian and Alexandrian schools of theology, which come also from Africa. And... Jesus, Yeshua, lived in Africa. You know, it's a white man's religion, but the number one central figure, God in the flesh, actually lived in Africa. So clearly it's not a white man's religion. Do your research. Don't just believe what people are telling you. And uh, stop lying. Speak with precision. <laughs> stop buying what they teach in the prisons. Don't be deceived. Pick truth over fiction. Christianity is not a white man's religion. The song is linked you know below in this description of this video but don't let nobody lie to you talk that garbage that christianity is a white man's religion it reached black people before it even reached white people and as i said before you know we had black christians about 1500 years before you know the slave trade the transatlantic slave trade we had black christians in the books of the Bible, you know, Simon the Cyrene who helped Christ carry the cross was African. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, there's other theories. You know, some people say Jesus was black. You know, they point to the book of Revelation, but that's taken out of context. That's eisegeted. You know, that's talking about Jesus in a glorified state. I'm not talking about his ethnicity. It says his eyes are flames of fire. You know, skin was like bronze. You know, that's not talking about his ethnicity or his race. That's just a description of a glorified savior. But at the end of the day, Jesus was not white. You know, he was an Israelite. He was a Jewish man from the tribe of Judah. And this is a religion for everybody. Christ died, he rose again. Anyone who will repent, turn from their sin and put their faith and trust in Christ will be saved. It's not a white man's religion. It's a religion for everybody. It's the number one religion in the world. All people, all nations, tribes and tongues will be represented in the kingdom. So I call on my white brothers and sisters to also debunk this lie that is not 
the white man's religion. You guys have a job to do as well. Tell your friends and family that this is for everybody. And so just wanted to talk about that and just debunk that lie. Christianity is not the white man's religion. Very easy to debunk. Y'all who believe it is the white man's religion, please travel. Please leave the United States. Go see other countries. You know, read the Bible, read church history. You know, don't just, you know, listen to all these uneducated, uncredentialed people. And yes, I am educated. Have three degrees debt free. Bachelors and masters in theology and pastoral ministry. So yes, I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to Bible and theology. I have much to learn. I don't know it all. But when you do want to talk about history, theology, and the Bible, I suggest you talk to people who actually have credentials in the field, not just people who look on Google and Wikipedia, because those sources can be wrong. You know, the best way to, you know, do research is to actually go to the lands in question, you know, look at primary sources, not secondary and tertiary sources, not just second and third level sources. But, you know, if you want to talk about Christianity, the number one <laughs> information we have about Christianity is the Bible. So if you're going to talk about Christianity being a white man's religion, you better know your Bible pretty well. All right, y'all. God bless. Follow me at Justin Martyr 305 on all social media. Check out my website, JustinMartyr305.com. Peace. God bless. It ain't the white man's religion. Let's just kill that forever. Thank you.